In this video, I want to talk about some of the copy and change blocks options that we have. Specifically in this one, I want to show how to use the modify dimensions. It's kind of a powerful feature of the WinMax control that not very many people are aware of. And I want to show how I can take a pretty, pretty involved program with lots of uh, patterns and features and holes and things like that, and then quickly adjust all of the, the dimensions in the X and Y axis to kind of to show how we can affect that. So first of all, I'm going to draw what I have here. Again, I have uh, several contours, some slots, some holes. Uh, here's a mill circle, lots of patterns. I use patterns to get a lot of these features. And you'll notice that nothing is programmed around zero, zero. So um, everything would have been positioned seven inches to the right in positive X and an inch and a half positive in Y. That's kind of the point that we rotated everything around and um, that's how far away from the zero point we are. If we look at the review screen, you'll see that I have a lot going on here. Again, we have uh, patterns, contours, holes, circles, things like that. And again, everything is programmed in that upper right quadrant, if you will. What I'm going to use to change this is off the input screen, I have copy and change blocks. There's a lot of useful information in here. The copy, move, and delete blocks, this is really was used for Ultimax users before we had WinMax. We can now do all of those things in the review screen, so they're not quite as helpful, but they're still there for those legacy users if that's how they choose to do it. We also have the change all feeds and speeds by tools. Um, surface finish qualities, for example, if I went here, I could change everything between block 1 and block 33. I could put a different tool number in there. Um, I can change the speeds and feeds, whatever I need to do. Once I put those, those changes in here, however, we always want to make sure we hit the Make the Change button. If I go back out here, we have, uh, again, change uh, all feeds and speeds and tools and some very useful things in there. What we're going to talk about is modify dimensions. If I click that, once again, I'm going to take every block in this program, starting at block one, ending in block 33, and I'm going to move them negative seven inches and negative inch and a half to bring the center of that array of features into the center of um, the zero, zero point on this program. I want to show you real quick that it really will change this. If I look at this, this pattern rotate here, this is what we're rotating all of those other features around, and I have moved it positive seven inches, inch and a half. That's the rotation point that all of these features rotate around, and it's right here where I'm showing on the screen. The reason I wanted to point that out is because you're going to see that those numbers are physically going to change. So if I go back into the copy and change blocks, modify dimensions, and I put I, the offset in X of negative seven inches, and I do an offset in Y of negative 1.5. In essence, we are adding to or subtracting from every dimension in the program in X and in Y. I'm going to hit the, if I had been doing the Z offset, it would ask me here, do you want to change the Z start, yes or no? For example, maybe I wanted to go a 16th inch deeper on everything in the program or within this range of blocks, but I didn't want to change my Z start of 0.1 or whatever. So that's what this question would do. Once I have this here, I'm going to hit make the change. It tells me that the request has been completed. And before I hit draw, if I go back into this pattern rotate, you'll see that it literally did take out that seven inches and inch and a half. Now, if I go draw this, you'll see that we're now rotating around the actual zero point. So I did move every single X and every Y in the program and was able to bring everything into where I wanted it to be. So again, a pretty uh, powerful feature to use, mostly used, again, for changing depths and things like this. So it's a little bit of an extreme version of it, uh, but if you were copying and pasting from another program or you needed to uh, drop all your depths because maybe you decided to go in and clear off or deck the top of a piece of material with a face mill, maybe drop that down 10 or 15 thousandths, and then now all your depths would be short. You can very go in, go in there very quickly and make that change one time to affect the entire program.